So it looks like at some point in this dungeon, I'll be able to unlock that elevator, which makes a shortcut back to the bonfire area, where you only have to kill a few guys to get back on the elevator and progress through without having to do what I'm doing right now all over again. So that's good to know. Oftentimes in, in Lord Run, in the normal area of Dark Souls, you'll see a lot of, like, gates here and there that you can't open, and then when you get to the other side, you can open them. And then suddenly the whole world gets a lot smaller, which I appreciate. I like that Castlevania-style level design where the world keeps getting smaller. Oh my god, what are you? Ah! It uses hexes! I think. I mean, it looks like hexes, the dark, the dark magic in Dark Souls 2. I'm trying to remember, I don't think... Can I aggro the melee guy? That's what I want. Come on, melee. There, here he comes. That's what I was hoping for. Down you go! Now I can just deal with the caster. I can probably dodge his spells anyway. My, my memory's foggy, but I don't remember much dark magic existing in Dark Souls. Ow! That was a failure to dodge. And then that was a failure to continue having blood in your system, so, you know. Truce? <laughs> my memory's foggy because I haven't played the game super recently in many cases, but I don't remember much dark magic existing in the first... Oh, Jesus. There's a guy. I don't remember much dark magic existing in the first Dark Souls, but I remember it being a huge part of Dark Souls 2. It's all about the dark and beating the darkness, and people have dark magic, and there's a covenant that takes you to the dark, and worships the dark, and you fight bad guys, and you fight Dark Diver, and the dark, 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 dark. And in this game, it's more all about the fire. So maybe this was the introduction to the series for darkness? There's, so I can jump down, sort of. That probably hurt a lot. I can jump down from there to get to that platform, or I can go forward just down these stairs towards that asshole. Oh, there's a chest. Well, I guess I might as well go that way for now. Unless that platform collapses, because it looks like something that would collapse if they wanted to, something to happen to me. I don't trust this wooden platform very much. Are they gonna drop me right down there? Oh. Oh, I, I saw a shiny disappear. That was probably a lizard. They're dick about lizards in this game. Don't fall! Huh. I was very convinced that was gonna fall for some reason. I don't remember if, how to tell if a mimic is a mimic or not, so... Oh! It's a mimic! Hi, buddy! Down you go. Okay, so... It's a good thing I checked, because that very conspicuously placed chest was definitely a mimic. A very good carving. I'll need to remind myself what the carvings actually give you. Not even remind. I need to look up what the hell carvings do. Let's go this way. I would like to actually try jumping off that cliff and seeing if there's something cool there. I think I have to do it from up here to make it, to actually make it. Uh, I, I found carvings in this game and I found carvings in the other game. Totally don't know what they do. So, I guess the comments actually could probably just tell me and fill me in there. But I do not remember what the carvings are for. And I found them in both games. And they're a conspicuous and strange object. And in this case, a mimic was guarding one. So I can jump down to that staircase, which has that guy on it. And then I can continue? No, that's a dead end, so I can't continue. So I'd go wherever that staircase takes me, I suppose. Or I can go this way, and carefully not fall off this cliff. Or I find more stairs, and th this thing, jumping. Nope, I don't think that's a good idea. Huh. Let's go this way first, actually, because it seems to- it might wrap back around. So I might be able to come back here. Oh, there's another platform down there. Is he aggroed on me? No. So down here, there's another platform with a doorway. I'm immediately getting lost. There are so many directions in this area that I might struggle getting around. Ow, Jesus. He is very fast on his little upswing. He was able to land a hit way faster than I thought he would. There's so many collapsed buildings leaning against each other. I have to be careful, because I feel like if I'm not careful, I might trick myself into thinking a platform is a platform when it's not actually a platform, and it's just like a pit of death. Where does this take me? Stairs. To drop down. 
Oh. Oh. It just took me right back. Up here. I completely missed the fact that I could walk around in this direction. So actually jumping down was totally unnecessary aside from the, far the part where you could unlock that, uh... You can get that one item that was on the body. But other than that, you could just walk down. Actually, no. Jumping down is necessary if you want to check out what's down that staircase over there, which I'll have to try to remember so I don't just continue on and never check what's there. Huh. Very serpentine level design that's wrapping in on itself is going to make it very confusing. So there's a doorway there and a path over here. What? What's making that sound? Sounds are bad. I don't like sounds. Let there be light. Nope, not an illusionary wall. What is doing the sound? I would check with my binoculars because out of habit of Dark Souls 2, but I don't think I even have binoculars, or if I do, I've forgotten, I suppose. No direction seems to have any indication that it's making that sound. I guess I'll just check that doorway and see where it takes me. This place makes me uncomfortable. Oh, magician. Aha! You hit a wall! Your folly was your downfall. Oh god, get off me, get off me! No, no, no! <laughs> Stop touching me, you creepy Cthulhu monster! I, th I thought you guys were dead. I thought I took care of you in Demon Souls. The game from 2009. Whoop! Oh. Well, that was an unsuccessful roll. Oh, Jesus, there's another one. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, fucking shit. Well, I found out about that guy too late. <laughs> my bad. During my run back, I was thinking about this Let There Be Light sign, which does not appear to be placed by a player, and therefore must be like an actual just note from the developer. And so I figured, well, what can I do to, that makes light? So let's see if this helps. That's not how you use the lantern. Did I do this wrong? Whoopsie. Maybe I have to equip it in my left hand. Where is the skull lantern? Oh, went past it. I need to get rid of some of these items just so I can get through them all. There we go. So it has to be in my left hand. Okay. So light clearly helped. I opened the door. Is there bad guys in here? No sign of bad guys. Just this chest. That might be a mimic. So let's check. That's not how you check. That's how you miss. No, it's not a mimic. Okay. Oh man, you, you open chests so fast in this game. I'm so not used to that because of Dark Souls 2 and it's slow-ass chest opening. And all the chests are always evil and stuff. So I got a silver pendant. Let's see, nothing's happened to me here before, so let's check what it actually does. First of all, what slot does it open up in? Silver pendant is a usable item, so that means it goes into this slot. And it deflects dark. Effectively deflects the dark of the abyss. Well. Boom. So I get a little bubble. That's cool. Maybe it's maybe this will help me against the uh these assholes in here. Ow, dick. Here we go. Hit me with your spell, bitch. Come on. Aha! That's right. That's right. Your spell didn't work on me. Okay. This is good. I'm happy with this little discovery here. What kind of evil do we have in here? There's my corpse. You guys can't hurt me for a little bit, maybe? Or maybe you can. Okay, maybe it doesn't last very long. Maybe that's a concern. Ow, dick. Dick? Oh, why are these... They're both open. Why were those two open? Did I miss out on my opportunity to get those, or are, they, or are they always open, is the question. There's a door up here, and a door down here, and a chest over here. And I should just reprogram myself to remember. So the chain curled back, I believe. Dark orb, oh wow. Is that a... Is that a hex? Did they just introduce hexes to this game? Is that the first hex you can get in this game? I genuinely can't remember. 
I know they're a huge deal in Dark Souls 2, but they might not be anywhere else in Dark Souls 1. Well, this is a dead end. So let's head up here. Path. Dead end. That narrows it down. Oh, hello. How are you doing today? Hope you don't mind if I sneak up on you very slowly, like. Yeah. 777. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Go off that cliff. Down. 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 Off you off with you. Ah ha ha. 777 was not um, was not your lucky number. Uh so I guess this is all a dead end. So I came down here and got dark orb. Oh, there's another door here. Any more bad guys? No. So I got a dark spell, and I got a pendant that reflects dark, so clearly I am getting all the objects related to this expansion. And that appears to be all that is here, so I should head back upstairs and continue forward through the level, because I assume... Oh man, another door. Staircase. Right, this is the staircase that I saw from up here. Okay, so that fully wraps up this entire zone from all directions. Which means I am all set to continue forward through the regular zone. Instead of all of the side stuff. This guy is going to be very unhappy in about three seconds. One, two, three? <laughs> I missed poorly. It's unfortunate. It's a great way to lose all your hit points. As demonstrated by me many a time. Turns out if you miss your opponent with your attack, you're wide open and then you're just kind of a jackass. And I guess it's time for you to die. So right down here is where we found that chest that was a mimic, which is why there's no longer a chest there. Instead of an open chest, we just get nothing. And that... Uh, uh, is there, there stairs? Okay. I was a little concerned, because I'm like, this seems like the only place to go, so there better be a path out of here. Where is this going to take me? All these doorways have me nervous, because I don't know what's going to be outside. Okay. I always expect something to just start killing me the moment I stick my head out. There's a wooden platform, but it doesn't seem to give you a boost towards being able to see anything. So I think the only way forward is to just continue on the staircase. I've been hearing talk I've been hearing talking and I've been hearing screaming. Is there an NPC in the area, or is that just what these guys always sound like? Either way, let's take out this guy! Before he has a chance to react. Nailed it. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. I thought I was about to go off the cliff. Ow. Okay, I need to stop rolling. Rolling bad. Rolling gonna get me killed. Okay. Uh. Silver pendant. Come on, you son of a bitch. I know what to do here. That's right. That's how this goes. Enjoy being useless as... Better, you better get a new trick. Watch him get a new trick that involves blasting me off the entire, like, the entire bridge just as- Ow! He hit me! I mean, I guess that qualifies as a new trick. He smacked me with his, whatever, his, his giant-ass hands. His hands are longer than his body, aren't they? I mean, his arms are. And he's got, like, purple for face? Like, crazy tentacles? These are very disturbing character designs. I would not be happy if I ran into them in, like, a horror game where it's all dark and I'm not a- powerful guy with armor and a scythe and the ability to deflect darkness. <laughs> What's Whoa, what was that? There's something red. Its face is glowing. It, from here it looks like a big daddy, but that's just a, that's just my go-to reference for something that's covered in eyes like that, I guess. Oh! Hi, guy. Hi! No! Get off! Oh, that's not a heal. I meant to do this. So that hurt. Did he go? Did he just run back instead of following me? Okay, let's be more ready for him this time. That was m my mistake for turning the camera away. Where'd he go? Did he jump off a cliff? <laughs> I wasn't watching the soul counter, so I think I might have. If I got souls, that would mean he jumped off a cliff. And since he's not here to kill me anymore, he probably did just that. Just did that. Any, any bad guys? Oh, there's a bad guy. Hey, dude. Down you go. Anyone else? Come on, who else wants some? So this seems to be the darkness everywhere. It seems to have like a 
six foot or seven foot reach when it comes to climbing walls and then it just gives up because <laughs> everything above that point is totally clean looking oh hey buddy good thing i was looking at you when you did that you, you could have really caught me by surprise if you were smarter and not going after me the moment i turned in your direction so these rafters have enemies in them is that all of them maybe grab the item and look behind me it's rubbish. It's a trap. It's supposed to lure me to pick that up while that guy jumps down from behind me, probably, and wipes me out. So we have a staircase back there, but we also have a broken railing. Broken railing does not help me progress, though. Sometimes the broken railing is a sign of a shortcut, but this time it's a sign of a... You just, I guess you're just going to get yourself killed by jumping too far down. That's a lot of bad guys. I'm going to drink an Estus. Just because I don't... If I get stuck... By, if I get stuck a bit and start getting taking a bunch of hits at once, I don't want to be low on health before that, because I could be in deep trouble. At least the stairs aren't broken. It'd be a really dick move if the bottom of these stairs were broken and they were just were going to dump me in the middle of this hellscape. If I can see them coming, then I can intercept them with an attack. But if I can't see them coming, they can really lay waste to me. Oh, spellcaster. That's important information. Is there another one? Up oh, there is another one up there. Jeez. Alright, so let's focus on that guy. Can I lock onto him? Uh, I can't really get out. Aw, uh, there's like a tiny thing in the way of my feet, so I can't get off the rail. Oh god, no, no! Oh, you're a dick! Oh, you're a dick! You're gonna get punished! Dicks get punished. Jesus Christ, I am bleeding out the everything. Well, not bleeding, I'm getting poisoned. No one's aggroed on me, though. Let's take care of that poison problem real quick. Crap. Crap. I'm getting lost in the menus. It's been such a long time since I've used this version of the menu. Bleeding poison buildup. And then do a quick heal. Hopefully I find a bonfire before I find another boss. So the spellcaster fell down. He's back there now. And no, no one else in the room aggroed on me. I don't see any loot back there, so I don't need to go that far back. If I can lure the monsters towards me, I'll be in better shape, because the, uh... Clearly, line of sight helps me avoid the, these incoming spells. I could deflect them with the pendant, but that's more... difficult to do. Come on, guys. Oh, there we go. It, the wall's more reliable than the pendant, because the pendant only lasts a few seconds. Oh. You gotta be careful about this stuff. Come on, guy. Come after me. Behind this pillar where you're defenseless and alone. <laughs> Not a good idea. You guys should really bunch up and attack me as a group. When it might be a little unfair gameplay-wise, but that'd be the smart thing to do is, you know, sentient creatures that don't want to die, presumably. There's an item here. Soul of a hero. Okay, more souls. This guy's gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't he? Come on, aggro! Let's just get some of these guys coming after me oh, where I, where that guy can't go. Oh, Jesus. That poison spell is a range, doesn't it? There we go. That's all of them taken out. I think that's every single melee guy in the room. So, so that went pretty well, actually. He has quite a range on that douchey poison spell, doesn't he? Oh, wait. Yeah, let's be smart about this. I can just deflect his spells if he sends them after me. Come on, buddy. That's right. It's I'm your worst nightmare. And now you don't get nightmares forever. Or maybe your life is a nightmare. Maybe death is a nightmare. Maybe you have- maybe you are the essence of nightmares. I don't know. I don't know how darkness works. Are darkness and nightmares related in this universe? I don't know. No one really knows anything about this universe. The lore is so confusing. And not that explained. So I can go that way. But I think I'll go... Backwards first. Because I did see a doorway back here. So I should check it before I move on, because it does look like it's not the forward path, so it probably has secrets in it. Or some were roared for you or looking at it. Maybe at some point... Anything here? At some point around here, I'd, I'm looking to maybe find that elevator. Because I've seen the top of an elevator somewhere, so maybe somewhere I'll find the bottom of the elevator, and that'll be a shortcut that lets me skip some of this stuff. Hey, buddy. This is a very confined place where I'm, I'm not super effective at swinging a scythe. So you might have you may have put me in trouble here, or not. Apparently, hitting all those walls does not stop my my scythe move. Probably kills my durability though. I should be careful about that. Does this? I can't remember. Does this game warn you when your weapons are breaking? 
I know Dark Souls 2 warns you because you can see the screen on the screen. Oh wow. There's a guy down there. There's like a whole facility here. Can I can I go through something? Oh, here we go. This is a huge area to explore. Way bigger than I was expecting it to be. From the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. <laughs> 